Okay, Hello. thank you. See you later. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike, and this I'm, is Carrie. And this is on bus, Busy McBus Space. We're from, uh, actually, we're from Arizona, a uh, little town called St. David, near Tombstone, Arizona. We just moved into the bus about three and a half months ago, so this is still pretty new for us. But we built it for three years. We wanted more adventure in our lives. Yeah, we just kind of started off looking at overlanding and that kind of morphed into like like wanting to do something like that but then we found bus life people online and that inspired us and then we kind of fell into a bus by accident and decided to build our own. Yeah, we traded a broken down truck for this bus. So that's how it came to us and now we're able to have these adventures on the road. You're satisfied with this the school bus? Oh yes, very much. Come and see. <laughs> <laughs> This is a 1992 Bluebird All-American. It's 40 feet long. 40 feet long. Wasn't it hard to build? Yes. Yes, very hard. There were some times when Mike was ready to give up because he had to learn so many new skills to do this. He knew some skills like uh, working with wood and carpentry, but he had to learn plumbing mm -hmm. and you know, high voltage electricity. Yes, he had to solar, learn solar, some solar stuff like everything. You have to learn everything if you want to build it yourself. I can imagine three years. Yes. Oh yeah. my. Yeah. So, so now you're it. happy with that? It's worth yes. it. Yes. We're you're worth it. It's worth it. it. Okay. You know, we took a really long time because we paid for it as we went. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a, a whole bunch of money lying around. And so every paycheck over and over and over. Just do a so bit more and it a little bit more. probably could have gone faster had we had more money up front. But you just we just have to do what we had to do. One paycheck at a time. <laughs> yeah, of yes. course. Okay, could you show me all around for us? Sure. sure. Yeah. You want to see the storage and that? Okay, so uh, we'll start down here. So well, this is kind of cool right here. Uh -huh. It's dirty though, because we just got back from a Colorado it's trip. Okay, it and we haven't matter. cleaned it. No laughing. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Wow, what is this? The barbecue. Barbecue grill. <laughs> nice. A little bit but it look, right yeah, now. it looks like you haven't used. <laughs> no, we, we, we went to. Uh, we went through an ice storm uh, in Colorado, in Colorado. Mm -hmm. it's, it's since the last loud. time it was clean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just our. This was actually spare tire. Uh huh. So we just keep like. Storage. Storage. Yeah. Storage. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we keep our, like our chainsaw for cutting our wood for our fireplace, and just a bunch of miscellaneous things. Gas for the generator. Okay. Uh, this is where we have our propane tanks here. You see the two propane tanks. Uh huh. And then outdoor shower. Yes. Uh, and then this is um, our inline water heater. The in the on house. demand, mm -hmm. like propane okay. water heater. Back here. You have YouTube channel? Yes, we're Bessie McBus face on YouTube. Okay. So this is the engine, but we have our generator back here. Uh-huh. And it has its own gas tank right behind it. Wow, you connected with, with very nice job. Oh thank you. Yeah. Thank it's you. the same as mine, but yeah. Yeah, we just wrote we just I had a piece welded on here mm -hmm. so I could put this right here uh -huh. and so we don't have because we actually had fumes come in one time and it set off our carbon monoxide alarm thank god we had a carbon monoxide alarm we have two uh two tanks on here those are our black tanks uh -huh. for wastewater and then we added this right here more just random storage the pipes for that, that kind of stuff. Okay. This is where all of our electrical is inside of here. Okay. So yeah, you'll see that on the inside. You can see it from here if you want to. Wow. How many batteries? 
We have 1,000 amp hours. It's a big, huge battery. Yes, they it's are huge. Each. Yeah. Yes. And the, so. what about, is it AGM battery? AGM. It looks heavy. They are very heavy. I worry about the floor right there, actually. Okay. And then the, our regular storage is for all the nonsense. Mm -hmm. uh, all the rest of it is just, this is like the, there's electrical panel for the bus behind here. Mm -hmm. Not very interesting. And then, uh, and of course we have the deck. Yeah. You want to go up on the deck? I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> She does this with all cameras. <laughs> wow. We, we weren't sure if it was going to be cold. And so we brought some firewood with us just in case because we knew it was going to be hard to get here. And we haven't touched it because it's been so nice. So, But normally we sit over here and we use this as a chair. We keep those chairs in here. To store them. So this morning you guys are sitting on here. And then, and then, then this is uh, 1,500 watts of solar. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a little weather station over here also. It tells you the temperature, wind speed, and direction of the wind. Uh -huh. So just so we know where we are at. Okay. It's cool. Yeah. Nice view. It is nice. I built this to take pictures, and that's why we built this mm -hmm. because of what? Because I like taking pictures, and so I wanted to be up above so I could see all the things. Yeah, very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Now, would you like me to show you what's in the cupboards here? In the first cupboard, we have our diesel heater that keeps the front of the bus warm. Mm -hmm. And then over here we keep our shoes. This is the boot barn for Mike's shoes and boots and backpacks. And then there's one more cupboard up here and this is for my shoes. So this is the living room and dining room area. We did wow. choose to put an actual sofa instead of building a couch. We wanted it to be really comfortable. And then over here we have our dinette, which also converts, when the table goes down, it converts to a bed or to another sofa, so that we can have two sofas when we have guests come over. And we have a skylight, which allows a lot of natural light in. It helps it feel a little bigger and brighter in here when we let in all the natural light. And clean the air. Yes, definitely. We have a wood-burning stove. It's one of our sources of heat along with two uh, diesel heaters as well. I cook and bake a lot. Uh, yeah. I'm baking pies and cookies and muffins all the time. Mm. <laughs> so you can cook like you in normal house. Yes, you know, yeah. to tell you the truth, mm. I have cooked more mm. in this house than mm. I did in my big house that we lived in before. Mm. I never spent much time in my kitchen before because the kitchen was all the way around the corner from the living room and it made me isolated. Mm -hmm. And so now that I'm in this small kitchen, I find mm -hmm. myself cooking and baking and cleaning all the time and I love it. And I like the countertop. Thank you. These are butcher block countertops from Ikea. And mm -hmm. Mike built all the cupboards ourselves, himself I should say. We just have our dishes up here. We also have a dish drying rack up here, so when we wash dishes in the sink, we can just put them right up here. Oops! <laughs> we put them up here to get dry. Very clean and they're very made very accurately. Look at this. Yes, there's Mike not did a any nice gap. Yeah, yeah, he did a beautiful job. Yeah, yeah. surely. Yeah. And that's our bathroom cabinet. Uh, our food pantries are on slide out, so you can Whoa. reach everything nicely. And Very nice. Yeah. Baking goods. Yeah. Yeah. So that's wonderful. Yeah, we kept the original ceiling. So these are the original uh, rivets from the school bus. Mm -hmm. Oh, then you just painted? We just painted the ceiling, right? Oh. 
What about insulation? Uh, there's a small amount of insulation that already came in the ceiling, but we didn't add any extra insulation to that. Mm -hmm. So we did insulation in the yeah. floor and the walls. Uh -huh. Coming back here. I like the, the shape, the door. Oh, the arch door. <laughs> yeah. And this will have a, a stained glass window when we get it finished. It's just uh -huh. not finished yet. Wow, look at this door. Isn't it's, it wonderful? Yeah, nice it's like this. a castle door. <laughs> like a castle door, like yeah. something medieval or a <laughs> hobbit door. Yeah. We love it. Okay. And here we have our bathroom. Mm -hmm. We have the airhead composting toilet and we have it plumbed down to our black tanks so it goes straight into the black water. Mm -hmm. Nice composting toilet. Yes, yeah. it is very nice. We like it because it actually has a seat mm -hmm. and some other composting toilets don't have a seat mm -hmm. like this, but this yeah. is the airhead. And then uh, any odor? <laughs> no odors at all because there is a fan that blows all the air outside mm -hmm. all the time so there's never any odors inside the bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is our wow, shower. Wow, look at this. Oh my, this, I, look at the tiles, so beautiful. Yes, this is a so broken amazing. tile mosaic. Who Actual, did this? I did this. Oh, you did it? Yes, I wow. did this. I couldn't find tiles you an amazing in all job. the colors I was looking for. So these are actually dinner plates that have been broken into small pieces. So I did all this by hand, breaking all the pieces and arranging them all and making the mosaic. Wow, amazing. How long it took time to build it? I probably spent about two years doing it. And I, oh laid, my. I laid the whole picture out on the floor in a bedroom. It was a lot of work, but it was sure fun. Yeah, We're beautiful. We're very happy with it. Thank beautiful, you. beautiful. We have a full-size washing machine. Very big, yeah. Yeah, it's not a dryer. Um, we just hang hang our clothes on a clothesline outside mm -hmm. to dry. And then we then, have double closets in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So these are, this side is my closet and Mike has his closet over here. Yeah, nice and tight. Yes, and plenty of space here for yeah. changing and getting dressed and our bed it's a queen size bed and i wallpapered the bedroom area and we have another skylight in the bedroom as well nice. we like that it lets in all the natural light so it's not so dark though. very nice thank wow. you well i would have to say we had to downsize a lot we owned so much junk so we had to get rid of so much junk to move from a three-bedroom house into this bus. And now that we don't have all that junk weighing us down anymore, we feel lighter, we feel happier. And we're able to just go and do more adventurous things. We're going on hikes and walking all the time and going to places we've never been before. So, so, so you don't miss any? No, I don't miss it at all. I love <laughs> this. This, this lifestyle. Well, thank you for coming in our bus. Thank you very much. Letting me see inside and show me your beautiful thank house. You. Thank yeah. you. You're very welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Bye bye. Thanks. Are you familiar with Harry Potter? Harry Potter, yeah. That's from Harry Potter. Ah. The platform, the platform. train. Yes. <laughs> Why? Just because. <laughs> Just because. You're a fan of Harry yeah, Potter. It's cute. We like uh -huh. it. We painted this bus. That took so long. Because you have to sand it. You have to clean it. You have to primer it. Sand it. Clean it. Sand it. Clean it. Clear coat it. <laughs> it's a lot. It was a huge job. People are inspired to make things themselves in America. So, you know, like whether it be a box or a house or a shed or something like people tend to do it themselves because it's it's more it's inexpensive. It's a lot cheaper to do it yourself than it is to buy it done for you. And so you're kind of uh, either motivated by money or just the adventure of doing it. So there's there's yeah. I don't know, is it like that in Korea? Um, 